Please rise as you're able as we confess our faith with the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. And the day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and he will come again with glory to the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, seats from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel. 
Let us pray for the whole church of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Lord, we pray for the men who preach and guide your whole with uh, with who preach and guide your holy word, so that we will grow daily in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ our Lord. We therefore pray for our uh, national, state, and local church leaders, including Pastor Matt Harrison, our LCMS president, Pastor Alan Buss, our Northern Illinois district president, Pastor Carl Fay, our circuit visitor, and all pastors in our area. Lord, in your mercy, your we thank you for our local church leaders, including uh, the board of managers. We pray for your spirit to equip and encourage these uh, men and women to lead with your word so that they will make decisions that will glorify you and will build up our congregation. Lord, in your mercy, your dear Father, use your, your spirit to encourage us to read or listen to your word every day, that they will, we will regularly fill up with the truth and be reminded that that truth sets people free. Lord, in your mercy, your Lord, bless the work of our missionaries, bring forth your harvest from the seeds that they sow, support those who endure fiery trials for your name. As they shine the light of gospel into, the, into hostile darkness, Guard them with the sign of your cross. Let them rejoice that in tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, or sword, they share in your very sufferings. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Lord, your son is both host and meal and the sacrament of the altar. Give us faith to recognize his body and blood, to receive with grateful hearts this blessed food and holy communion. Guide us to live faithfully here on earth until we live forever with you. Lord, in your mercy. Lord God, ruler of all, protect and defend your church from every attack of the devil who prowls and seeks to devour. Where he tempts, strengthen your people to resist his seduction and terrors. Where he gains a foothold with false teaching or ungodly living, call to repentance and holiness. Where he incites enemies against your word and your church, preserve your saints in the faith that they may rejoice to share in the sufferings of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, you hold the might of man in your hand and you can destroy all things by your mighty power. Bless our nation and all the peoples of the world. We are, where war and violence threaten, bring peace and justice. Where oppression reigns, bring liberty. We therefore pray for President Biden, Vice President Harris, the men and women of the House of Representatives, the men and women in the Senate, the Supreme Court Justices, Illinois Governor Pritzker, and as Plains Mayor Goskowski. Frustrate the causes of evil, violence, and oppression. Lord, in your mercy, we thank you for the sacrificial service of the men and women serving our community in the fire department, the police department, and all first responders. Send your spirit in the lives of these men and women to serve them uh, so they will serve you uh, where you call them each day. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for the men and women serving in the various branches of the armed forces. Strengthen them day by day as they serve where you have called them. Keep them safe and remind them daily that you are with them always unto the end of the age. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, we pray for our family members and our friends who are struggling uh, with their health and well-being. We pray for uh, Fran and Walter, for Marlene, for Vicki, Jean, Irene, for Kathleen, for Marion, for Eugene, for Liliana, for Phil and Susan, for Carol, for Ralph, for Alexandra, that you would continue to strengthen them and remind them uh, of your grace and mercy. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. we pray for the family of Mary uh, as she uh, uh, passed away this past Friday, that you would comfort them, Lord, of the sure and certain hope of the resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. we rejoice with those celebrating birthdays, including Doris, uh, Gail, and David. Thank you, God, for another year of life you've granted to them. Strengthen them and remind them daily of your love and your mercy. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Heavenly Father, as the first Christians devoted themselves to prayer and worship following Christ's glorious ascension, preserve us in the same until we are raised with all the saints to your heavenly kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And give us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Grant us the kingdom, and power, and glory. 